Tell me where to go. No, you'll stay, you stay on mic. If we're loud enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll just Got talk. It. And, yeah. and I, I think this is kind of cool. But welcome to Charlotte. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We're coming by Kiss 951. You're in the camera, God. Just <laughs> That's really the important thing. I have to do this thing. great interview, and then we don't get it on camera. So, do you want to come over I'll here? come over on your okay. side. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. No, thank you for having me. I know that some, there's some people that want to ask some questions to you, but we're going to probably talk to you first, and then we'll mm -hmm. open it up to you guys if you guys want to ask anything, too. Tell us about the best fight you guys got. <laughs> That's always something that we get asked, oddly enough. I mean, we don't really fight that often. No, <laughs> really no, I mean. What's the age difference? Um, I'm 19 and. Okay. Um, but I think sometimes we like, like, argue over like creative decisions, but not that often because we're usually on the same page. Um, but sometimes I just sometimes I want to do weirder stuff and Thomas doesn't want to do it, but. <laughs> I know it was a huge part of your family growing up. Obviously, you mentioned that your dad played. Mm -hmm. Your mom, even though she wasn't a musician, always yeah. promoted music in the house. Uh, how much of an effect do you think that had on you guys? I think definitely it had a big effect. I mean, I think just growing up, um, I mean, uh, our dad is a jazz musician, and so I grew up singing jazz standards, which is slightly different from what I do now. But um, I just... I think that like growing up with such a, you know, it around the house all the time. And then it was also very encouraged. So I think it just, it, it was like a, it was a natural thing. Like it was never like, oh, you should not do this. It was always very much like, hey, do what you want to do. It's just like make money. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a particular artist that you gravitate towards uh, for inspiration or that you really like their sound? Um. I, there are definitely a lot of artists that I've grown up loving. Um, I mean, we listen to a lot of The Neighborhood, and we are and were very big 21 Pilots fans. <laughs> and um, who else? I mean, I mean obviously Lana, um, Billy, all of the big, you know, alt girls, Melanie, you know, very much, in, you know, inspired, you know, the, the music that we do today, so. You know, social media, obviously, is a big part of, Music, uh, why you guys are as successful as you are, putting a lot of music out on TikTok and, and you know, getting picked up on, on, on different social media platforms. Having said that, I'm always interested to ask you guys, as musicians, artists, and people that are in the public forum, how do you handle it when you go on and you look at a video that you posted or a picture that you posted? And yes, the first three comments are going to be nice, but then the next like six or seven comments are going to be me. How do you? How do you turn it off and then, you know, take the reality of like, here is the social media downside? Yeah, I think that there was one time I was scrolling like on my For You page and I was just looking at a video and then the top, it was something music related, but um, I, the top comment had like 10,000 likes and it was hating on me. And I was like, what well, guys, what did I do? But um, I think that. Then I thought about it and I was like, hey, they're talking about me. So, you know, um, if anything, it's, you know, helping me out. So I don't know. I think that I just like go by the philosophy that if you listen to all the good, you have to listen to all the bad, too. So I think that it's like take everything with a grain of salt and not like if you internalize all the positive comments, then when you look at the negative ones, you're going to internalize it, too. So I think I just try to. I think we just generally try to kind of keep our heads down and keep writing music and just keep going. Yeah. So you guys are heading out on tour, kicking out next week, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. By the way. <laughs> I forgot about that. Excited, <laughs> nervous, or is there forgetful. a regular? Forgetful. <laughs> Definitely forgetful. No, I know that we were coming up. It's just when you say next week, I'm like, oh, God. Um, it's, um, I'm very, very excited about it. And it's, you know, going to be the first like truly solo headline tour. So that will be really, really fun. And I just I mean, I just love touring. I just I'm so excited to be able to, you know, go back and and, and play again. And we're working on, you know, all the ways to upgrade the show. And it's just it's like, so, you know, some of the most fun moments are during tour. Which your song you absolutely love to perform. I. I honestly like performing older a lot. I think it's fun because um, 
it like the tra- I think that the transition that goes into it, at least in the last tour, was very like it. I don't know. It was just fun to see crowd reactions. I think for it, and it's I get to whip my hair around and stuff. So it's <laughs> isn't there another sibling as well? There are two more. <laughs> there are many Larosas. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And so um, when you guys are out on the road, obviously your family, you also perform together. Mm-hmm. You take time apart from each other while you'll be out on the road. <laughs> like, Tom, you go do your thing. I'll catch up with you at six. No. <laughs> do you want to answer this one? Because I think that's awesome if you guys have a relationship where... <laughs> we spend, like, nearly 24-7 together, <laughs> just generally. <laughs> um, it does it. I feel like I mean my girlfriend is our is Isabel's photographer, so she comes around with us. So like, there's times when it's just my girlfriend and I. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much just like the three of us and like the tour manager, <laughs> for like twenty four seven. It's just never really, but that's always the way it's been. I don't know. I feel like well, it'll just be like we'll we'll either like any day that we have off, we just track, and yeah. so it's like I don't really we never. It's very rare that we don't see each other for longer than a couple hours. So how are the other siblings into music? They like music, but they aren't making it, which I'm trying to get my younger sister into the music industry, but she's reluctant for some reason. Um, you know, she's an athlete, so she's a really, really good swimmer. Oh, nice. So, Must be. But, okay, cool. Uh, anybody have questions? Uh, I'm seeing a sea of hands, so. <laughs> yeah, you did cover the whole month. I know. You want to talk about fashion at all? I'm <laughs> big on that. You have your uh, outfits picked out for the tour? I actually just ordered a bunch of them. Yes, <laughs> I was like, oh, I forget that things take a couple weeks to get in. So I was like, I, I was like, please, can I get this in like a week? Yeah. All right, we'll give it up for Isabel. I just know if you ever get nervous. Oh, oh definitely. <laughs> I feel like, I, I feel like, um, before things, almost more so like this, where I can see everybody's face. I'm like. <laughs> when I can't see, I feel like when it's a bigger room and there are, it's more of like a sea of people and there are big lights and it's a big show, then I feel like it's, it you can hide more. And I feel like in rooms like these, you can't hide at all. So this is definitely more nerve wracking. Do you have a pre show ritual? I honestly feel like I just don't like to be bothered. <laughs> I feel like I can't like move around too much. I have to just like, um, I also can't be in the green room. Like, I need to be like, I need to hear people talking, and I need to like hear what the crowd sounds like, because otherwise you're just going from like separate room to like on stage, and it's very disorienting. So I just kind of like stand next to the stage with you and uh, Sam, our photographer, and I just kind of stare off into the distance, like that. <laughs> we might have so. a, another question coming in on the phone. <laughs> 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 But anyway, you guys, give it up one more time. Thank you so much.